Here's kind of the reason for the drier weather. This also relates to what we're watching in the tropics, so we'll kind of tie those two things. Big upper ridge extends from the Atlantic across the Gulf of Mexico into the central United States, and that is going to intensify and build more northward. This is going to create for dry and warmer temperatures as we head into the next couple of days. Then for the weekend, an upper trough is going to be deepening southward, and that's going to allow for a break in that ridge and a few isolated showers for Saturday and Sunday. But what that upper trough is also going to help to do is create the break in the ridge, which will allow what will likely become Isaias, again, not a name storm yet, to begin that trek toward the north. And where exactly it makes that turn northward is still very much a large question. This is based on the year Euro, and the Euro takes it over the Bahamas and eventually along the east coast of Florida. Here's what's going on with the storm right now. It is still not a name storm because the hurricane hunters have not been able to find a closed circulation. Certainly a broad circulation associated thunderstorm development, strong winds. In fact, winds right now are at 45 miles an hour. But what is lacking is that westerly wind on the southern side of the storm. We have the easterly winds on the north and just not quite wrapping around the center. So until that happens, it is still not a name storm. And what's very very interesting is this is the sixth advisory on what is still technically not a named storm potential tropical cyclone nine. Again, we had talked about the fact that when it's given this name, it allows for the weather sir or the hurricane center to begin issuing watches and warnings. And usually that's an anticipation of a, a name to a name that's going to be given very, very shortly. But that really has not been the case. Thunderstorm development had looked a little bit healthier around what is kind of being designated as a center. But even that has started to weaken a bit. Hostile environment somewhat, especially on the southern side, and that forward motion at 23 miles an hour is almost preventing Isaias from getting organized right now, which is why it is still not a named storm. And in fact, the storm center does take it over uh, the island of Hispaniola, which is very mountainous. So that will likely continue to weaken or disrupt the circulation. And the official forecast from the Hurricane Center does have it as a weaker storm once it gets back out over open water water. Notice kind of missing Cuba, but what's something that has been very interesting is that it has shifted considerably at one time that center line. And this is why I like using the center line because it kind of gives you an idea of the thinking from the Hurricane Center. They had been bringing it into the Gulf of Mexico. Well, that center line has shifted considerably more to the east as a lot of the other computer models are doing the same thing. The Euro, which had been consistently putting it in the eastern Gulf of Mexico, has also kind of come along a line in line with the GFS and keeping it along the east coast of Florida or possibly even farther east from that. Still a lot of questions, but the risks to Louisiana look very, very slim.